It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Hackney Brewery in London and it's a can of their High Hill Hazy Pale Ale coming in at 5% ABV. 440 milliliter can. I like the, the can wrap on this one. It's very nice. Without further ado, let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the can opening. Beer in the glass. That looks really good. We've got a two to three finger white head. Slow moving carbonation on the beer. A slight, a nice haze on it. And I would say it's straw to amber to like a light orange coloured beer. <laughs> and without further ado then, let's get the aroma on the beer. Oh, a little bit of bubble gum. A little bit of bubble gum in there. Like, a, like the old fashioned tropical hubba bubba um, flavours you used to get. Remember they used to... The, Big burst of flavour when you used to chew into a tropical hubba bubba. That's what I'm getting. Tropical bubble gum. A little bit spicy, a little bit peppery. Orange. Tangerine flavours. Smells good, let's dive in. Cheers everyone. Oh. Oh yes, yes, yes. This is really, really good. Oh. I gotta put that down. Stone the crows. Stone the crows. What a beer. I tell you what's really impressed me about the beer, and after just one sip of the beer, is just how soft, just how they've managed to condition the water to get it to really, really make those hops shine on this, this pale ale. If there's one thing I picked up in the last few years of reviewing beer is that Brewers make every effort to condition the water now to be able to put the the pale ales and the IPAs and the double IPAs and the New England style IPAs, all your hazy beers, they condition the water to get it wonderfully soft and refreshing and drinkable. To make it just makes the hops shine even more. And I tell you, wow, Hackney have done a fantastic job. On the condition of the water of this beer. Mango, lemon, tangerine, apricot. Beautiful, beautiful beer. Really top quality stuff, really is. Have a look as I as I rock the beer back and forth. Look at the quality of that brew. Look at that. You can see it. You can see the body. See that carbonation following the head round the glass as I roll it round. That is something else. And as I've added more beer to the can, as I've drunk from the can into the glass, as I've drunk some of the beer. You can see that it's there's a little bit more sediment in there now as well. But great head retention. I haven't been this impressed with a pale ale for such a long time. Such a long time. 
either that or I'm not just I'm not drinking them enough and I'm coming across these parallels now and I'm like wow this is blowing me away I imagine this is Hackney Breweries number one selling beer this high hill hazy pale I wouldn't be surprised if this was right up there with their best selling beer it's just so refined just so refined and lovely and drinkable now um, Hackney Brewery they're actually opening their first tap room in 2021 um, if you scan this kind of barcode thingy um, I'm not sure if you can pause the video and do that can you is that possible can you pause the video and try and scan that <laughs> with your phones um, you can help pay, help pay for their tap room by, by clicking that barcode thing. Right, Hazy Pale, unfiltered and unfined for bigger flavour. Uh, hazy, citrus, tropical, progressive, independent, focus on flavour. Ingredients, water, malt, oats, wheat, hops and yeast. Um, yeah, suitable for vegans, 440 milliliter. Just beautiful. Just a really, really beautiful beer. If ever I'm in London, if ever I'm in London, I gotta get down there. I gotta get down to this brewery. Just so refreshing. Just so refreshing and so drinkable. I've not even spoken about the malt yet. a light kind of very light cracker bread flavor from the malt you also get a little bit the mouthfeel is, is has been filled out with the oats in the in the beer if you ever make oats on the pan there with 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 water and you always see the creaminess from the oats on the bottom of the pan that's that same kind of creaminess that makes its way into the beer to give the beer some nice creamy body some nice creamy mouthfeel there's next to no bitterness on the beer as well so you get a little bit of sweetness next to no bitterness on the on the beer i'd be surprised if they put any hops in the boil at all my rating for high hill hazy pale that is something else that is something else that's one of the best pale ales i've had in ages absolutely ages that for me is a 10 out of 10, a stone the crows, 10 out of 10. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.